Assalamualaikum and greetings. I am Nur Hidayah Sabri from Faculty of Health Sciences, UITM Penang, Bertam Campus. I'll be presenting occupational pressure among district health office staff. This study is done on the year 2023 in one of district health office in Penang, Malaysia. So my presentation will consist of four parts. The first part, introduction. Second one, methodology, followed by result and discussion. And lastly, conclusion and recommendations. So let's begin with the first part of my presentation, the introduction. Stress that is related to or stems from workplace is referred to occupational stress. Negative stress, whether it is mental, physical or emotional, is a significant factor that can jeopardize the balance of an employee's quality of life. These are a few terminologies that is frequently used in my study. Stress, depression, anxiety, and workplace pressure. Stress is defined as a state of worry or mental tension, whereby depression is a constant feeling of sadness and loss of interest, which stop you from doing normal activities. And anxiety is defined as the mind and body's reaction to stressful, dangerous, and unfamiliar situation. So all these three symptoms will influence the workplace pressure. According to statistics, around 450 million workers worldwide have been diagnosed with serious depression. And data from National Institute of Health and Morbidity Study showed that up to 20% depression are caused by work stress. And according to previous United Nations report, work stress will be the leading cause of the world top five disease by 2020. There are three objectives in this study. The first one is to identify the factors that contribute to workplace stress. The second one, to identify the level of depression, anxiety and stress among respondents. And the last one, to determine the high-risk group among respondents. Let's continue with the second part of my presentation, methodology. This is a descriptive cross-sectional study. It is a quantitative analysis and the respondents were selected by using random sampling technique. Pilot study was begin by randomly select 10 samples to assess the appropriateness of the questionnaire and main survey uh, takes place from 13 March to 14 April, approximately one month. The questionnaire consists of three parts and all the data were kept accordingly. Sample size were calculated by using Rousoff sample size calculator and the recommended number of sample is 108 respondents. The data is collected by using questionnaire. We also do face-to-face -face interview to participants who have difficulties to answer the survey and we upload the survey to online survey tools for collection and analysis. Uh, we use Microsoft Excel and SPSS to analyze and presenting the data. So for our study instruments or our questionnaire, it consists of three parts. The first part is regarding respondents brief profile or sociodemographic characteristic of the respondents. The second part is regarding factors affecting occupational pressure. There are five sections in this part. The first section is about assessment of task area. The second section is about leadership of supervisor or leader. The third section 
is regarding awards and recognition received by the employees. The fourth section is about workplace relationship, the relationship among staff, among supervisors, with their supervisors. And the last section is about workplace facilities. Part three of the questionnaire is depression, anxiety, and stress scale 21, DAS 21. DAS 21 is commonly used tool to analyze or screen for mental health status. For data analysis regarding factors affecting occupational pressure, we use Likert scale. There are five scale ranging from strongly disagree scale one to strongly agree scale five. And for depression, anxiety and stress scale 21 or DAS 21, the screening score have five rating ranging from normal, mild, moderate, severe, and extremely severe. Let's proceed to the most interesting part, the result and discussion. As I mentioned earlier, the first section of the questionnaire is regarding the sociodemography of the respondents. So for gender, 72.2% of the respondents were male. 44.4% of them is in the age 31 years old to 40 years old and 91.6% of the respondents are Malay ethnic. 79.6% of them were married and highest educational level for majority of them is diploma. Most of the respondents which is 47.2% have period of service uh, of 1 to 10 years. For objective number 1, the factors affecting occupational pressure at workplace, majority of the respondent, which is 45%, will strongly agree that workplace relationship is the most contributing factors in affecting occupational pressure at the workplace. For Section A, Assessment Task Area, most of the respondents chose Scale 3 or Neutral for Statement number 1, 2, 4. And for Statement number 5, 50% of the respondents strongly disagree that they are consistently being instructed to work extra hours without receiving the corresponding overtime compensation, meaning to say that they are satisfied and they are being paid accordingly when they have to work extra hours. For Section B, Leadership of Supervisors, 43.5% of the respondents agree that work instruction from the supervisors are clear and easy to understand. 41.7% of the respondents agree that their supervisor always give feedback and guidance. And 33.3% of the respondents agree that their supervisor has good decision-making skills. And 38% agree that division of duty was done fairly. And lastly, 39.8% of the respondents agree that their supervisor and leader were accepting opinions from the subordinates. For Section C, or Awards and Recognitions, 35.2% of the respondents agree that the supervisors and leader recognize and appreciate their good work. And for Statement number 2 and 3, regarding the promotion policy and incentive given to the employee, most of the respondents were neutral. For Section D, Workplace Relationship, most of the respondents strongly agree that they have positive relationship with their supervisor or leader and also between their colleagues. For Section E, regarding workplace facilities, most of the respondents agree that their workplace is equipped with basic facilities such as individual workspace, meeting room, pantry facilities, toilet facilities, 
internet line or intranet system, air conditioning system, prayers room and office equipment. For objective number two, the determination of level of depression, anxiety and stress among respondents reveals that they are in normal range for all three symptoms. This is according to DAS21 skills. For objective number three, determination of high risk group among respondents, apparently a total of 52 respondents or 48.1% are categorized in the high risk group. They are the ones with moderate, severe and extremely severe DAS21 skills and they have high risk of getting mental health issues. The final parts of my presentation, the conclusion and recommendation. In conclusions, most of the respondents have good mental health but there are still a few workers who have depression, anxiety and stress on a highly severe scale. But bear in mind that this study does not serve as diagnostic tools. It is served as baseline data or screening purpose to know the status of mental health of respondents. And a suggestion to mitigate workplace stress involve fostering positive relationship between supervisors and colleagues setting clear objective and implementing efficient time management strategies. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you.